happy Wishables Wednesday to you guys. It's Tiffany from Tubi Toys. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to unbox two Disney Parks Wishables, the Buzz Lightyear Attraction Series. There are four to collect in all. You can also buy individual ones. Like I bought this Alien. They are $9.99 each. They are really, really super cute. And they're actually only at Disney Parks, but you can buy them on shopdisney.com. They're not like tiny big feet at all. They're like real plushies. They're really, really adorable. And every Wednesday, you're going to get a new series. Make sure you follow Disney Parks on Instagram and on Twitter, and you'll be able to follow along with the hashtag Wishables Wednesdays. Super adorable. So before I continue, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you are super excited about Toy Story 4 because we cannot wait for the movie to come out. And please subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button and our notification bell. And you can be part of our notification squad, our 2B Toys crew. So let's get started. He's super cute. He has three eyes, of course. He has his little antenna and his ears. And he has these adorable little stars inside of his eyeballs. And I believe that's actually something that's with all wishables. Because what do you do when you make a wish? You wish upon a star. Super cute. Everything's embroidered. So we have the embroidered Pizza Planet logo with the pepperoni and the pizza pizza pie with the rings around it. Super duper cute. Oh my goodness. So let me check. Let me show you what you can get in this collection. There are four to collect. You can get Emperor Zerg, Buzz Lightyear, Boxobot, and XP40 Space Cruiser. That's awesome. So this is, I believe, from the Buzz Lightyear ride at Walt at Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. That's what it looks like. Um, otherwise, this is really, really cute. For $9.99, you get a blind bag, or you can buy individual ones. You're not going to be able to buy these individually. I did not see them on the Shop Disney website. This is also a limited release, so get them while you can. And I have to mention, they're super squeezable. They're not, they're not like, they're not squishy, but they're just so cuddly. So super cute. And the packaging's really cool, too. I really hope we get Zerg. Oh my gosh, we got Boxobot. That's super cool. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. We have some decals over here. Embroidered eyes. And look, there is the star in the eyes again. Really, really, really cute. Very, very nicely made too. I think they're worth $9.99 for sure. You don't get the tag on the ones that come in the blind bag. So removing the tag shouldn't be too bad. However, let's see if there's any inside the bag. There's nothing inside the bag. So you just get this. This is a nice little like souvenir from the parks. Really, really cute. Or if you're not going to the parks and you're, you know, you're missing Disney, go get yourself a wishable and you could wish to be there. Finally, let's open up our last one. Who do we get? Oh my gosh, we got the XP40 Space Cruiser. This is so cute because it has a little cute little face on it. He has, he's winking at us and has a star in his eye. So cute. Here's a battery pack over here. That is so cute. I'm happy we got these. And look, oh my gosh, it tapped out at 999999 I follow Kenny the Pirate. I don't know if you guys do too. He's like one of the best Disney planning gurus out there. And he actually gives you tips on how to get this high score if you subscribe to his character locator. So if you head into Walt Disney World, definitely sign up to character locator. It's worth it for the $10 a year. Um, subscription he gives you a lot of awesome tips and we use him every time we go to Disney World which is hopefully every year if we can swing it this is really really cute what do you think of them I know $9.99 each is pretty steep but if you're in the parks already and you want like a really cute surprise toy this is definitely it I have to try to get Buzz and Emperor Zerg because you know my son he is a completist and he needs to get everything so I gotta try to get them overall I think these are really really super cute we can have Alien go for a ride and try to get Zerg <laughs> super cute stay tuned to the end of my video i'm gonna have some coverage from disney smc i went to a blog a blogging and influencer event in manhattan of course and i got to see some special guests so stay tuned to the end of the video to see two very very special people that came all the way up from walt disney world in florida to say hello to us in new york city thanks so much for watching guys let me know who your favorite is in the comments below have a
back in New York. It's been a couple years, and we're just thrilled, so thrilled you all could be here with us today. So first, let's talk hashtags. Today, we are using hashtag DisneySMC. Please welcome the Director of Public Relations for Disney Parks and Resorts, Leanna Regan. So, I have to say, coming in here today, watching everyone walk in, it felt like family reunion all the time. That will make us laugh, cry, think, act, and engage. You'll hear a little bit more about emotion through video storytelling from Bob Hitchcock when he takes the stage in a little bit. But there is one story in particular that I want to share with you. And it's a story about a boy named Liam. A few, a few months ago, Liam uh, made a make-a-wish wish to come to Walt Disney World. It sounded like a great story, right? This kid wants to become a stormtrooper, and you know, all the elements were there. And I will tell you, we went out and shot this video, and and the interview didn't go well, and it, it just was a it was it was missing the emotional connection that I like to have in a story. Thing for us, right? Can anybody tell me the uh, website that Chewbacca started and he got in trouble for it? Wookie Leaks. What did you get from it? I mean, you know, this whole uh, social media aspect of it was definitely the sprinkles on top, and to see how viral it went, to see that it was on the news and on Doring America. It's just, uh, it's own Star Wars adventures at Disney Hollywood Studios, as well as the Disneyland Park in California, which opens just in a few days on May 31st. Guests will take the controls in one of the three unique and critical roles aboard the Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, sample galactic food, blue milk, that one, <laughs> beverages, and explore an intriguing collection of merchant shops, including building your own uh, lightsaber. Phase two, opening later this year, will be Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, the most ambitious, immersive, and advanced attraction ever imagined, will, which will place all of you in the middle of a climatic battle between the First Order and the Resistance. Here's just a little taste of what awaits our guests in this amazing new land. Corner. I feel the best. So we're going to use this corner over here. So we can 
Yeah, I, can we just say hello to my kids? Because I feel really bad. <laughs> All right, so everybody look at my way. Here we go. One, two, three, and one this way. Uh, and then just a, a quick wave to the camera. Hi, Marcello. Hi, Rocco. Can you just wave to Marcello and Rocco? Hi, Marcello and Rocco. Thank you. <laughs>